Hi there. Okay, so my name is Eugene and I was asked to just basically give an overview or a tutorial on something called turn it in, which is what people use in general when you're doing an assignment or when you're doing an item that requires a review on citations or a review on various things, including your grammar and your different pros that you use. So I'm just going to open up my Turner's in and basically what it shows up, um, this is my week 10 assignment. So what you'd find is this is your essay. And over here, there's a list of column items that kind of show you different pointers that you should know. So if you have a look, you can see this, it says it's number four. So when you do instructor feedback, so obviously you're getting feedback from your instructor. And also what you can see is this is the match overview for your different types of so-called plagiarism, if it's 1% or 2%. My total overview is 6%, but basically it's things like long phrases that are the same as in a different area. So the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is, and it picked this up and it says, hey, this is all the same as something else. In the meantime, this is the name of, so it, it, it varies and you can be, you know, penalized depending on how severe your overview is. I'm not too sure what your lecturer would say um, or your instructor would say, but generally if you're over 10%, it's you're starting to head down the lines of some plagiarism in your essay and you should definitely review it. Um, also, I find that if you have less than 10%, just well written, you've, you've written it well and you're using your references and your citations properly. And if you do have areas where there is a lot of sentences or structures like this because it's a quote or it's something that the, the referencing system recognizes, just make sure then that if it's a quote that you've got the citations ready and when you're doing a scientific article, a lot of the science stuff is the same. So then you, you're just making sure that what you've said is what somebody else has said and you've included that person's information so that when they look at it they're like okay but this person said it and so on oh uh, that's kind of how that works then the second piece is e-rater by ets okay so basically what this picks up on is different types of uh, grammar grammatical errors or different mechanics that you could include um, your different types of styles, if your style is too long or too short or the tone is incorrect or if you've used the wrong different articles and, you know, all the basic stuff that we've already learned so far in the course, it basically gives you that. And then if there's a spelling error. So just be careful when you do this that, like, caffeinated is spelled correctly. Parkinson's, it might be possessive, but this is the name of the disease. And so it will be seen as being possessive because I'm talking about Parkinson's disease, right? Um, and so those are the types of things to be careful of. Again, Alzheimer's, it's Parkinson, you know, it's the same thing. It seems as possessive, but this is the correct way to write and spell it. So something like this here, this is a good one, good example. Sugar-free coffee has a potential opposite effect, comma, but is known to same teeth, right? Now, various other systems, so for example, Grammarly or Microsoft Word or even person editing your essay might not pick this up or they might say, hey, but you don't need the comma there. The comma is too much. So various systems do various things. So take the majority from it, but definitely use the turn it in and the e-rater results because this is what your lecturer looks at um, when they're doing the essay. And if you have all these errors kind of corrected, you can't be faulted for it because you've done so many researches and so many different devices that you've done. Again, the spelling, it says caffeinated is incorrect. I've checked it, it is correct. Uh, so I'm not sure why Turnitin has picked this up as incorrect, but hey, something to just check on. Make sure that it's correct spelling, you know, use Google, use a dictionary and so on. Um, another thing like the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, again, it picks it up because it is one long phrase, more than four words and uh, in length, it picks it up as that. These are obviously more work cited and None of these have any form of thing going wrong with them because this is the site it works. So the system picks that up. But I definitely re recommend you use this, especially for things like this. The lecturer might be like, hey, I'm using Turnitin and this is where your error is. I've seen when I look at my feedback, it comes from this. So I do recommend using this and making sure that this Turnitin is correct. Um, obviously, 
various sentences like this might not require this, um, but they recommend that you use it. So just, just keep that in mind and keep an eye on it. Uh, also, what I have seen is, and I've obviously edited this a lot. So once you've edited this on your own documents, your, your essay, once you've looked at this, then just go back and go to your modules and say, okay, cool. I am now going to go to my week 10 essay over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to resubmit my assignment. You resubmit your assignment, you go back to grades again, and again, you review your Turnitin report until it reaches the point where Turnitin doesn't pick anything up or you've had a complete correction unless you know, you're know you quoting something in terms of your referencing and plagiarism, and then you're good, you've, you're pretty much sorted. So just make sure on those things that you don't have those problems. You see like here, if they show green, your originality report is really good. If it starts showing orange and red, it means that you have a problem, just as an example. So yeah, um, I hope that helps. And I do hope that my bit of tutorial on this does help. I do recommend using it. Um, so use this, use Grammarly, make use of the tutors. They are there to assist you. Just remember that when it comes to the long essays, you give at least a two day grace period. So if you're going to submit on a Thursday, make sure that they have it by the Monday so that you can have it back by Wednesday to do the changes that they recommend. And then you can review it, rewrite it and submit in time. Um, also make sure that you do submit them a good time period in advance because like they, like I said, it can take up to 48 hours before they get back to you with a response, especially on the length of the essay. Uh, also maybe make sure that, you know, your, your classmates that are part of your gathering are, are really good in English and that they can give good advice because otherwise it can be quite difficult and those problems can come in, but definitely use online things like Glam Grammarly, online things like this turn it in reports because it definitely gives you information that you will require that your lecture can be pleased. Yes, you have done as much research as possible to change things and you get your results. All right, well, keep well and be safe.